go in the no-go thread ring gauge is the simplest and most economical method of inspecting external screw threads. Thread ring gauges are very easy to use. The user should ensure that the correct major diameter, TPI, class of fit, and go and no-go pitch diameters are clearly specified on the thread ring gauge. The inspector should confirm the gauges are calibrated. It is always advisable to recheck the thread ring gauges prior to use with the matching set plug, regardless of the calibration sticker's current status. Set plugs are the only approved method of calibrating AGD, adjustable style thread ring gauges. Adjustable American gauge design thread ring gauges are designed with radial slots which form natural dirt grooves that tend to clean the threads of the workpiece. It is important to note that thread ring gauges should not be used as work dies. It is advisable to clean the workpiece prior to gauging as this will extend the wear life of the thread ring gauges and prevent damage to the parts. Thread ring gauges should be cleaned with solvent or air and then frequently recoated with a rust preventative. If a gauge is dropped, it should be immediately reinspected with the matching set plug. Any impact to thread ring gauges may result in a change of its size. The go thread ring gauge should engage the externally threaded part with very little force used. The engagement should be smooth. There is no specification regarding torque or pounds of pressure for using thread ring gauges. Common sense should be applied based on factors of thread size, pitch, and application. If the gauge starts to bind, the inspector should stop before damaging the part or the gauge. The part may be oversized or tapered. Other possibilities include lead error or a damaged thread. With fine threads, the inspector should be careful to not cross-thread the parts. It is important to use the no-go gauge as it checks pitch diameter exclusively. It is unaffected by other conditions in the screw thread as it is intentionally truncated on the crest and with greater clearance applied on the roots of the thread. The no-go thread plug gauge should not enter the part more than three turns, although in practice it is advisable to limit the amount of turns to one and a half to two turns maximum. The user just simply counts turns. The end user should review the thread specification in detail as there are variations to the no-go gauging practice. For more information on our thread gauges and other products and services, please visit our website at www.threadcheck.com.